Welcome back to Secret Mermaid Stuff page, where we share inspiration and heal ourselves and take that art of self-love to the next level and the next and the next in all kinds of creative ways. We have so much fun here, so thank you for tuning in. I'm Cayenne, and I am your guide. I am a mermaid oracle and I love doing readings so tonight I climbed out of the ocean a few minutes ago and I was feeling so one with the water so in flow in fact can I share you a story while we wait for people to show up and then I'm gonna pull cards so there I am the Sun is setting I'm saying my blessings and actually just really letting go. You know, meditation can mean so many different things for you and I. So I'm breathing and I'm releasing and I really have no thoughts at this point and I'm just there and it's everything. And I close my eyes even though there's all this beauty, all the gold and I'm smelling the salt breeze of the sea and I feel my feet sinking further and further into the delicious sand and I'm, I'm not even feeling human anymore. Hello. And as I'm pausing and the waves of the sea are coming and going, I open my eyes and right in front of me, rolling right toward me is this beautiful shell. And why it was significant to me for many reasons is most of the shells that wash up are broken. And this one was just so whole. And right away I heard what Lao Tzu said, be really whole and all things will come to you. And I've been shifting not what I do. I've been doing the same thing, showing up, being a mermaid and a medium but I'm changing how I'm living a day. I'm more in the flow. For instance, I was doing the dishes tonight and feeling a bit cranky, so then I'm like, okay, okay, you know, how can I make this feel better and feel a flow while I'm doing my dishes? So I put some Hertz frequency music on and I'm just tuning in more, feeling my bare feet on the woven rug and I'm splashing a bit and talking to my cat and suddenly I'm in a flow and I'm having fun. So often we separate self-care, we compartmentalize it, we think, okay, I'm going to get done with this chore, and then I get to get on my yoga mat. You know, and bless you for thinking of that. But how can you, here at Mermaid Page, we tune into not only what you do, but the how, how you do it, how you come into a flow and follow it through without all the drama and the shame and the and the tapes we play and, and you just, all of a sudden then, a, it's like a glow will happen within. And from there, everything really becomes interesting, doesn't it? So here we are. And so, so I'm gonna show you, so, so just when you think too, that how can it get even better? How can it, and I was feeling so blessed finding this beautiful shell tonight. Then I found another whole one. <laughs> it's the first time from living in Florida in six months that I found two. So then I'm thinking because, and I want to share this to encourage you, the whole world, as poet Naomi Shihab Nye loves to say, is in dialogue with you. And so what does that mean? It can mean the sky is an oracle. And, and you know, your inner child knows how to do this, knows how to notice the, the little messages, the, the passionate way life collides and speaks to our heart. And tuning into it's easier when you're in a flow, when you're in your breath. And so after that one, then I find this amazing coral heart. Ooh, let me catch myself there. And the final one that I found on the beach was what I call, you can see it's an angel wing shell and it's, it's a piece of um, 
You know, some days I know the names of shells, and other days when I'm in this more state of oneness where I meet the energy of things rather than the label, I, um, I forget the names of shells. So these things can speak to our heart. These, these things, they're not things. They're part of the living flow that you and I are in. So let me see. I see Jenny White. Jenny White's in the house. She does an amazing um, talk. I want to say every day I see you, Jenny, showing up. And you live by the, by the water in uh, Cornwall, is it? So check out Jenny White. And yeah, let's just keep being there for each other because, okay, the group card I pulled right before I started to guide me is the multi-dimensional self. I almost said shelf. And, um, you know, the self can be like a shelf. We can put things on and it can get really cluttered and then we've got to clear it off, right? So what is the self? What is the multi-dimensional self? Put in the comments as you're listening on replay. It is tuning in to not only place and time, but space and timeless. It is remembering your magic. It is that moment when you've been struggling to heal something and maybe you've been seeing a counselor and talking to your friends and it's just still there and it hurts. And then all of a sudden you leave behind Kronos clock time and you get into Kairos grace. You get into the quantum field where you become infinite. And, and I love to talk about the infinite here at this page because that's where I say the fin is. The fin is in your ability as a finite person to connect with your infinity. Good, mo good morning, Diane. <laughs> I'm so used to saying good morning to you because um, we do that. Um, hello. Hello to you and the kitties. So we're going to pull some cards. And I love doing this. I love especially because it's a new moon. Thank you for the love. It's a new moon tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. It's in Taurus, and it's all about, it's asking you, what are you believing for your future? So whatever intentions, or fin tensions, as we say on this page, that you plant, make them as magical and beyond your imagination. Don't limit yourself anymore, don't. All right, so Jenny, if you're still here and would like a card, give me a, give me a sign. Diane, would you like a card? You know, normally I show up during the day, so I think I caught people off guard. Here I am. Oh, thank you for all the love, Diane. I love you too. And uh, I often, when I pull these cards, pull them for you who's listening on replay. So it's, again, it's my way of defying space and time. All right. So I'm all about yes. Okay, so Diane says yes, she'd like a card. So I'm gonna pick one from the mermaid deck for you. Oh, so this one says you're being helped. And there's a beautiful dolphin and a child and there's ducks, and it says heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see results yet. So Diane, whatever's in your heart, keep, you are such a person of faith. You really show up every day with so much faith and love. So just know that heaven is working behind the scenes for you, and you are heard, yes. So Jenny, um, I did not get a yes from you, and I'm all about uh, when I work with energy medicine, the yes, the invitation. So, um, hey, Michelle is here. Would you like a card, Jethead? I am pulling a few cards because let me let me share this. I did a reading for a woman on Saturday, and because those things are private, I can't share what transpired but what I can share is that we all have heartbreak and loss and when you invite somebody to listen to your story and to create a healing field where you can release something and we did and then there was all this download about her future this summer and it was 
incredible medicine. And in fact, at the end of that, I invited her. I said, you know, rather than just do a reading here and there, would you like to commit, because you're so committed to growth, to once a month? And she said yes. And she said because it was so powerful that um, she committed to six months and is sending me a check for that. So if you want to work with me every month, if you want to see results, if you want to let go of the suffering, what I do in mermaid oracle readings is unlike anything else I see out there. It's not just pulling cards. Medicine songs come. I often um, get messages from your loved ones who've passed on and, and we talk to your guides and it's, it's, it's really incredible. And, and I, ever since I got to Florida, you know, I've been working as a hospice nurse and seeing and picking up on all kinds of things over the years. But now that I'm here and I'm really close to this quartz sand beach and I'm just feeling so tapped in, I'd love to work with you if you're at a point where you just really, really want to break through. So, all right, I'm going to check and see if anyone else wants a card. Otherwise, I'm going to go into a zone where I pull a few cards for you who's showing up on replay. And, all right. All right, so, Michelle, I don't know if you heard. Um, I always wait for the yes before I pull a card before it. So, if you would like a card, let me know. Meanwhile, okay, I sense somebody who's watching this, who's going to be watching this, uh, who is concerned about finances. And I am seeing the number seven, and I am sensing that in either seven weeks or seven months, things will get so much better. So the card I picked for you, and it is, huh, it's a new deck. It says, Falling Awake. When situations fall apart, your darkest hour becomes the dawn of your awakening. So your finances, my love, you who is falling awake. I've never even put those words together. It's dark around you. You don't feel supported, you don't feel resources, but know that. There's another reality, a frequency. Let's tap into it right now. Let's go into the stream of, of currency, of current. I want you to take a deep breath, you who is afraid about finances, and I want you to connect with this current moment and come into what is going on? What is creating this? I'm seeing an eddy, like a, like a, like water that's just spinning and you're trying so hard and you're spinning and a lot of it's connected to your thoughts and pain from long ago when you were a child and, and maybe you saw the scarcity around you, the fear in your parents or I'm sensing there was a divorce there. And so you've never really felt this solid ground. So I want you to imagine this part of you that hasn't been abandoned or afraid, go deeper than those feelings and the shame of not having enough. There's no need to feel shame. We're in this state of huge transformation on the planet. There's so much economic imbalance and all of that. It's so complicated, but the hope is that you, you can choose to come into this moment and shift. And we've got a new moon tomorrow for you to do it. So I sense that you're not very possibly into the new moon or what that means. But the farmers, they would plant according to the moon, and the new moon was the time to plant seeds. So you are positioned to shift this cycle towards abundance, and, re and I'm just here to reassure that. Aww. Much love, Jethead. So, all right, let's read for someone else who's going to be showing up. Oh, is that interesting? The very next card I pick. So I think you're getting a two for one to show you the abundance, um, you who I was just speaking to. It says financial flow. We did it. You know, this, this isn't just words. When we show up together with intention, with synergy, there's this quantum field we enter and we create reality. We believe it. We we can't control it, but we can go into the wholeness and the flow. So the financial flow card says, you've earned it, you deserve it, financial rewards, 
begin to flow and profitable solutions unfold. And solution is one of my favorite words, being a mermaid, because I think of the fluid as well as how you and I, rather than focusing on a problem, which puts us into a victim place, you can focus on the solution. So that's still being aware of the problem of the situation, let's call it a situation instead of a problem. And then you can just, from the situation, go into the solution rather easily. All right. Hmm. Okay, somebody here <clears throat> is, okay, I'm gonna sense. I picked the card that says consultant expert you're feeling confused inside and even like a, a child I'm getting you're you just you know so you need to um, you need to take a breath with us and come into a place of vulnerability yes you've been afraid to ask for help you've been um, I don't know, I usually don't use the word shame, but it's coming up again. You've been ashamed to admit you don't know what to do next. But, my dearest, that is all of us. And if you look really closely, nobody really knows how it goes. We all get up. We hope for the best. Some of us pretend we know what we're doing a little bit better than the rest of us. But, you know, here at Secret Mermaid Stuff page, it's all about where the work becomes the play and you improvise with life and you find a solution. So it's okay that you need more information. And it says contact someone with expertise in the energy in the in this area. So if I can be of any help, let me know. Book a session with me. Or just, you know, reach out and we can do a mini 15 minute and see if that's feeling good as far as a consult. All right, I'm going to do one last pull. Hmm. I'm seeing a beautiful older woman. And the card I pull for you is Karma Cleanse. It says, liberate yourself from karmic patterns of the past and live a life of creative choice. So what I'm picking up on is you are not too old to do something different or learn. You are stronger than you believe. You've carried some things for a very long time. It doesn't need to be this way. And I'm seeing a wisdom glimmering in your eyes right now and you can set yourself free. Um, it's not too late. All right. So, thank you once again for showing up at Secret Mermaid Stuff page. I shared a fun shell story at the beginning if you want to circle back and catch the beginning. Have a beautiful new moon. Again, it peaks tomorrow in Taurus at 3 Eastern. So, go to sleep tonight, holding on to those seeds of what you want to see happen in your future, in your near future. Remember you create your reality and, and it becomes easier when you go into the flow and glow, which is what this page is about, this community. So much, much love. Goodbye. This finish button doesn't ever want to go. <laughs> I'm tapping it, okay. <laughs>